This experiment is based on the following single replacement reaction that results formation of metallic copper. This reaction occurs slowly. So we add hydrochloric acid to increase the rate of reaction. First, we weigh an empty beaker and add 2 grams of copper sulfate. We use copper sulfate pentahydrate. Let us see how does it work. The empty weight of the beaker is 69.440 grams. To this, add 2 grams of CuSO45H2O copper sulfate pentahydrate. Note down the value 71.430 grams. Now take out the beaker and add 10 ml of deionized water. get the blue solution so do this solution add 2 ml of 6 molar hydrochloric acid now weigh 0.25 grams of aluminum foil actually 0.254 grams of aluminum foil. Then add the pieces of aluminum foil to the copper sulfate solution. Use the stirring rod to mix the solution. It's an exothermic reaction. There is any aluminum foil remains we can add 5 ml of HCl hydrochloric acid to make the reaction complete. I have few more aluminum foil remains. After all of the aluminum foil has reacted, allow the solid particles of copper product to settle and carefully decant the solution from the solid. So we are leaving behind the copper in the beaker.
another copper product you can rinse with uh, di water 20 ml of di water wash the copper product with uh, deionized water two times each time you can use 20 ml of water Now rinse with 10 ml of methanol. And after that we have to dry the sample. So heat the beaker in an electric hot plate with medium heat allow all the water and methanol to evaporate or dried off and we have to dry the copper product and after dry we weigh that again after drying we find the weight of the beaker with the copper again and note down the reading 70.119 Then make it dry some more and after 5 minutes we dry again for the second weight. The second weight is a 70.011. Now you have all your required weight and this is our final copper product. You can transfer. Now you have all the required uh, data to calculate the limiting reactant, actual yield and percent yield. When you perform the actual experiment, your percent yield can be greater than or less than 100%. Now think about two reasons why your percent yield can be less than or greater than 100%.